Hmm. Toys for Bob. Very interesting that that bit wasn't voice acted like the, uh, you know, they have Clancy Brown talking over that one. This is Unreal Engine. This is happening. This is all happening. In fact, the lack of voice acting at all is very strange. Oh yeah, glad I just for fucking morning. Yeah, it's just yeah. I'm reading this. Binding. Yeah, you own my soul. Spyro the dragon can eat my dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except. Fire one. Oh, I'm glad they changed his pose to be the box art of each one. Okay, straight up, first thing. The whole love and detail that um, Crash Bandicoot's main, pit, main menu for selecting the games had and the fact that it has Clancy Brown going, it, like, it's Crash Bandicoot for each one and getting like hyped for it and really caring. And this is literally a purple random Snapchat filter with the logos and Spyro standing in different poses with no just generic music in the background. Feels a little underwhelming. I thought it'd have the same production level on the menu, but like, okay, it's a menu, so who cares? Not like I'll be starting on this menu every time. Hey, they kept the font. And the dragon. The spire of the dragon. I'll shut up now. Or I would. Uh. motivational poster in the background. They also gave the dragons and Nork a lot more character design. You know, before they were just dragons in different colors, bigger than Spyro. Nasty Nork has one of the oldest TVs I've ever seen. Adventure begins. Oh, well, this is pretty. Should I get the first Durgan? Oh, that's a. Oh, look, and it burns the grass. Well, that's nice. Oh, he moves much faster than he did in the original. So yeah, I was pissing on the menu, but it feels good. Why is this dragon wearing clothes? dragon that you get saves your game and you used to have to stand on it and then it acts as a mini menu but now it just summons a dragon and... oh yeah this blew my mind in the the first thing the, the hub world has enemies in it and the enemies can fuck your day up big ones you set fire to and in the first world, they just run away, so they're not really a problem. You just chase them and you zap them. Stop running in circles. The camera's a bit uh, jerky. When I charge, it recenters the camera and it kind of fucks up where I'm looking, which the original didn't have. You could charge and it not do that centering. You could charge off screen. 
So that's an interesting change. Let's go save this one. I thought I said rescue Dobbin. Seriously, what is this scaly shit? So they made a lot of effort on these dragons that you don't need to look at ever again after you've like spoken to them once. Okay, this tree looks very much like it was just like, there's a lot of flat textures clumped together and it doesn't react to stuff. You can drown because you're a Durgan. Uh, What will happen? A secret flight level. So we're just going to clear out the world hub first, you may have noticed. So there's big enemies which will eventually attack you later in the game. And then there's fodder enemies. Come back to you. Oh. Something hit me. Chests. They used to make a ring noise every time you pick one up, and now they, they just kind of make a jingle jangle noise. Here's a balloonist. He takes you to the next level, but you have to hit a certain dragon release cap first. They actually give him a voice this time. You never work out who he is or what he looks like underneath here. Whether he's a human or a... Because, like, before the dragons didn't wear clothes and it feels like I'm in some weird scaly reimagining of the uh, Spyro universe now where they're, like, hunky men. <laughs> and it's just a bit like, uh, why are they all, like, hunky men with specific arts? Like, you know, like, the last guy had a easel and it's like, obviously he likes art and the guy before that was a different and it's like, so I can pick my, uh, dragon husbando. <laughs> it just feels like... You didn't need to personify each dragon, Tomas. Oh, look at this bard-ass motherfucker. <laughs> Spyro is such a 90s character. You know, he, like, the whole thing is he's being interviewed on TV and he's like, Yeah, I'm the kill the get bad guy. Yeah. And it's just such a, like, 90s vibe where he's a bit of a dumbass, but he's like, Yeah, I'm gonna torch him. Let me at him. It's just such a, like... Let me burn your sack. Uh, camera. Camera. Oh, oh, hello. Friend? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take me a while to deal with this camera. It's, it, it, it's, oh, it's, the problem is it's not in, wait, is it inverted left? Is left, right, is right. What is my, it's because I'm sometimes doing this and then having to work with the version. I can do this. I'm not stupid, shut up. The scorch, like, grass and like all of that's really nice. Come back. Stop it. Oh, you can head button. Certain enemies become too big for you to effectively charge, which means you have to, and lots of armor, you have to charge. Town square. Let's not do them in a weird order. You're like, what is this for? After playing Crash, you might think, huh. Oh, there's some over there. After playing Crash, you may think, huh, get a hundred gems and you'll get a life. Wrong. Just get all the gems in the game and fuck you if you don't. 
literally it cuts off content <laughs> if you don't get all of the gems and you're like, really? And it's like, yeah. So yeah, have fun with that. Oh, yeah, in the first game, you don't have hover, you just press triangle and he stops and dives downwards or just stops. So I'll keep that in mind. Because in later games, triangle makes you flap up for a little bit, so... Can I go in here? Or is that the opening area of the tube? The, the opening cutscene area? Alright. Well... Ooh, I see something shiny. How many gems are there? Yeah, you know how they're like... I don't like the freezing in the cutscene of like... There's... 12,000 treasure. It's just like, that's... That feels like that's incorrect grammar usage and it's annoying me. <laughs> like, you know... Let's just get all of the stuff in here. Oh. Because these are lives. Very nice, like... Attention to detail on the ground, but I feel like these plants... Kind of some of them feel like flat textures look. It's kind of a bit like, really? Okay, there's a lot, I know, so it's like, uh, I'm gonna give it a break. Do we go down here already? Oh, look, this is where Marco is. Marco. Oh, no. It's not. Uh, did we clear out the first world? Do I have to go over here? It's a bit of a small area. I thought the first world was, uh... It's a trick my dragon. Yeah, there's Marco. For some reason I felt like... I felt like it was bigger than this. Oh, okay. Let's just do a level. That took me 12 minutes just clearing out this area, so... Let's go to the first level. These are fodder enemies. Oh, look, and here's... Oh, okay. It's not. There's a Durgan head. Uh, and you? Nice particle effects on them. Singer sheep, he loses his clothes. And you get a butterfly which feeds your dragonfly. Because you have more than one here. More dragons found. That guy's hobby was eating watermelons. I love that we're getting to know more about our. Uh, Dragon friends. This is Thomas. He likes to be a bard. Gotta get all those gems, and if you miss one gem, well, fuck you, buddy. It's not that bad. It, it only bites you in the ass at the final act, which is what I don't like, actually. Where it doesn't at any point say, by the way, you should probably be getting those. At any point. Yeah, here. Here, here. So Stone Hill is just a uh, kind of like level. It's a level. Haha. <laughs> Take that, sheep. It's pretty easy at first, you're just beating up sheep. You can see that little sway where I'm like going the wrong way still and I wait. There's a well. I'm gonna pull down it. Oh, I did it again. Oh, metal crates. But how would I ever. Okay. Felt like the game didn't like me doing that smashing all of those things at once. You know what they need to do a HD remaster of? A 
classic burnout games, but burnout's one to like revenge. So I've played Paradise like six times. Let's see what Lindar's quirk is. He's the Entropy Dragon. So yes, we're just living my childhood apparently in HD, so... Hey, it's my fucking channel and I get to choose what we play. Oh, need a key. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Damn it. Now. Now. Gavin. <laughs> Gavin the dragon. This dragon has a tattoo. This dragon has a tattoo and drinks coffee. Okay, this is weird already. This is very different from the original. Aww. Oh, I hate having to make decisions. So yeah, I, I have like a once monthly thing that I do, and I realize it's not actually once monthly, because the last time I did this was July, so, uh, and it's now September, so, you know, bad, bad sheep herd. Bad sheep herd, bad. Stop protecting your flock and doing your job. At the moment, I'm just causing problems. That's all I'm doing. All these people are innocent. Yeah, like, every couple of months or so, I get myself a few more games and uh, spend about $750, so... That's Hong Kong dollars, so that's about 70 to 80 pounds every couple of months on new games when they go on sale. And I got Dragon Ball Fighter Z Ultimate, and uh, trying to work out how it's Ultimate because it was like, oh, you'll get the Fighter Z pass, and I'm like, that brush is comically large. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, and I'm trying to work out why it's ultimate because it like gives you the first eight characters of the past. Then I opened it, and I was like, um, really under the impression you're supposed to give me more characters in this. Kind of confused. Um, don't really understand what I'm doing wrong here, but. Like, I seem to just have the base roster, unless they literally only give you Goku or something. Because I have Piccolo and, like, all those guys, so I'll have to look into it later. But because my account's uh, a Hong Kong account, yeah, those thieves used to be cool. It was a bit easy, but it was the first one. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> Sneaky man. Yeah, and I got Krillin, and I got a bunch of people who are literally in the opening trailer, and I'm like, so do I get anyone else? I think I've got Goku Black and Beerus, and I'm not sure if they're standard, but I have them. And I'm like, don't I get anyone else? I've just, to be honest, though, I've just been playing as, like, Piccolo, Vegeta, Trunks, um, a bit of Goku, and just been... Oh yeah, there is actually, like, I can't just keep going forever. It looks pretty, though. Um, a bit of Yamcha, a bit of Tenshinhan. 
Um, who else did I play? Uh, yeah, just playing a bit of everybody, really. Played a bit of Krillin and was like, why am I losing? So I'm just mashing buttons because it's all in uh, a language I don't understand. So I was trying to work out his move list and I was trying all the specials out and then I was realized I was just throwing Senzu beans on the floor. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so I'm just giving the enemy extra health because I'm just throwing Senzu beans at the enemy. Senzu beans! <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a... That was a shit idea. <laughs> Much like this one. Please. Gooby, please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Smacking my face. I saw some shiny. I want the shiny. Oh, is this it? Um, that fairy was called Zoe. Who wants another trivia fact? Let's think trivia facts. The music for uh, for Spyro 1 and 3, I'm not sure about 2, was done by the drummer from The Police, Stuart Copeland. That's basically my only trivia fact for this. I want to go home. You can't tell me what to do. Astor. Some have real dragon names and others are called things like Gavin. Little beach. And a secret cave. And a key. So it really introduces a lot of good mechanics that will be coming back in a more complicated way. I should retire in Stonehill. <sighs> yeah, so I'm still trying to work that out, and I bought Metal Gear Solid 5 Definitive Edition because it was quite cheap. I have it on Steam, but I don't have a gaming PC right now, and my save's on Steam. That's look like that. I thought it was inventory. They used to tell you, I'm pretty sure, how many each level gems had, so that you could so you knew if you missed stuff. But maybe I'm misremembering. Got to get back up so I can get those last few gems because I was looking for. This way, my brain completely spaced on how I got up there. I just got up there and was like, yeah, and then didn't really think about anything else. Uh, Stand at me. I can do that or that. Let's have a little look around. That's where we met the thief. Explore the outer side. Don't you know if I got all the dragons? I thought it would tell me, you got all the dragons, so I'm a bit like that. Because it did in the first area, right? Maybe it did and I wasn't paying attention because I was thinking about how the fuck Yamcha is like a uh, high technical character in Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and that, that really confused the fuck out of me for a bit, and I was like, really? Really? You know? Yamcha? Really? 
he's got one of the most flow confusing kind of like commands lists in the game. Everyone else's is like relatively easy to understand. The other ones I tried anyway, because I was just doing basic stuff with like Vegeta and stuff. Because I like Vegeta and Piccolo, so I'm going to play those guys, and I like Trunks, so I'm going to play as Trunks. That's like, the whole reason I bought Dragon Ball Z was these characters are cool and I want to play as them. These characters I don't care about, so I'm not going to play as them. And I'm really not here for, to like do meta shit or anything, I'm just like, oh, whatever. So yeah, I uh, got Metal Gear Solid 5, the definitive edition, which includes uh, Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain and any DLCs they had, so I'm probably going to do that at some point when I can be bothered on the channel, because I only half completed it. There you are. I have no idea how many... 198 feels like a real dorky number, though. I bet you there's one, two gems somewhere that I missed. Green gem. From the green gem. Green gem. Mm hmm. Let me up. Oh, you did. You did. Look at this. This das bullshit. Um. Yeah, so expect an LP of that at some point. <laughs> Whenever I have time to play. What is essentially at least a 70 hour game, I believe. I can't remember. It's a long ass game, wherever I got to. I got to basically like the beginning of the Africa location and was like, wow, this is a long ass game. <laughs> like, you know? I was like, huh. Game keeps going. Didn't realize, and I was really enjoying it. And I get really bogged down in the little stuff like collecting zebras and things for my zoo. It's just gonna confuse the fuck out of people who are like, wait, what? Because what is Metal Gear Solid? It's like, uh, it's supposed to be a spy action game. I spend most of my time collecting resources from Mother Base, so actually, me LPing it is a fucking terrible idea. Because I'd spend most of my time off screening stuff on the channel, going, hee hee, look, I found a sheep. And everyone would just be like, seriously, you're gonna off, you're gonna off the rail, derail the entire mission. I mean, yeah, I'd unlock Quiet, I decided to get unlocks for Quiet, and I was like, ah, oh, this is cool. Quiet's a cool character, I like Quiet, as in, like, what her function is in the game. She's literally just boob lady otherwise. But yeah, like, no, she's, uh, changes the game dynamic because I play very stealthily normally. Oh, that, sometimes they give you a life butterfly. Okay, let's just end this level because I think I have got everything. I probably missed one thing or like a lot of things and I'm just being blind and dumb. Can you tell me how many? No, you can't. <sighs> so yeah, um, I kind of want to play that, but I'll get really bogged down in it like I did with Death Stranding, which I didn't LP for the channel, because I finished, I was halfway through it before I got the idea of starting LPing, and Jesus, that's a long game. These guys do hit you if you leave them alone for too long, if you stand next to them. Ah, oh, they start dropping these. Once you got the gem from them that they carry, they drop little, like, weird, floating... I never really understood them, but I always thought they were quite ugly. Ectoplasms. And then you get, like... You fill up the circle around Spyro and you'll get a free life. But, you know, we're doing alright right now. Let's go do Sleepy Hollow or whatever the hell it's called. Park Hollow. Hey, I wasn't that close. Far. You know. So, um, yeah. We'll see for upcoming channel stuff. I want to do some fighting games, but like I said, my copy of Tekken 7 and my copy of, um, Dragon Ball Z, they're both in 
traditional Chinese and I can't work out if there's even a menu option to get them out. I vaguely know how to get to the things I want to do, but like a lot of stuff is, oh yeah, you got the field. Uh, a lot of the stuff I want to do is kind of like, also I'm out of practice to shit. I keep telling myself, hey, you should play Tekken 7 and do some like King and Huarong stuff. And some Josie stuff, because I was big into Josie. Oh. Uh, I was big into Josie as, like, her moveset, but again, Alban. The hint is that the dragons in this game are all capable of wrecking these things shit really easily, but they're just letting Spyro deal with it because they're lazy. So like, he frees the dragons and they're like, cool, jeez, chill man. Yeah, when they start bunching up in various attack patterns, it starts getting a problem. Let's go find a frog. Why are there bookshelves outside? This feels very Alice in Wonderland. Didn't really need to do two, but I did. I'm pretty sure if you light the fire, something happens by... Oh, and a, tr a trophy appears. I really need to turn those off. They're a little distracting. There's some stuffs over there that I've got to get. Uh, his range is the worst. These guys, they kind of just stand there like this, like, nah, ha, ha. Don't want to go down there yet. I want to go see what, what's up over here. What's hip hop happening in Yowza? Anyone gets that reference, write in the comments where I, why I say, what's hip hop happening and Yowza? Because I bet you no one gets that. And it says a lot about my child. Ooh. Got a big boy over here. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You gotta hit him when his when he's not got his belly out. Uh-huh. Okay, which which way is progress now? I don't wanna oh doesn't matter, I'll just go back. Oh, I got him. Oh yeah. All's win. Yeah, the, the whole thing of, like, these dragons could easily solve any of the problems themselves if, like, more than one of them was released straight away, but they just can't be bothered. And they're like, oh, well, you know, Spyro seems happy. And it's like, they're giving you hints, like, oh, yeah, I guess these shields would be a problem for your weak-ass fire breath. Maybe, uh... Maybe you might need to charge those guys, but you know, if it was me, I'd just overwhelm them because I'm fucking adult dragon and these guys are nothing to me, but uh, you know, game's gotta happen, so have fun. And you're just like, oh. You're like, but for you guys, it's not even, and they're like, yeah, I just, I wanna go back to reading. I don't care. And like, it's like, the whole premise is that one guy was talking smack. You know? Oh, the return home is just there. Darius the dragon. <laughs> but I think they're giving them all hobbies to, to justify why they're not helping, and I think that's hilarious. Like, oh no, sorry, I'm busy working on my Shakespearean actor. Bullshit. I'm <laughs> just like, that is amazing. Uh, 
Uh, what was I saying anyway? Yeah, so I need to do more practice before I do any more fighting games, and especially as I literally just played DBZ for the first time today, and I was like, this is neat. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but some of it is great when I get it working. And I looked up the command list and did some shit, and I was like, whoa, that's really nice looking. I like the art style and the... Oh, I've been here. Just thought I'd double check that there's nothing I missed. Uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, I might do that, and I want to do some tech. And yeah, I love Josie's move set because she's Muay Thai as fuck. And I was really looking forward to I'm gonna mess this up. Fak Fakuram coming soon. Is that it? Yeah, it's got to be something I'm missing, right? Oh well. Oh yeah, I got the key and didn't use it. That's what I missed. I didn't even see a treasure chest with the key. Oh well. What was I gonna say? Well, that's 36 minutes, so I might cut it there and we'll come back immediately for me, but like, ha ha ha. See ya. What should we do next? Oh, it'll be Town Square, won't it? See you at Town Square.